Hi everyone. Welcome to this new video by Detox Technologies. My name is Harsh and I work as a full-time cybersecurity consultant with Detox Technologies. In this video we are going to have a look about how to perform account takeover using broken cryptography. Now, before directly diving into the concept, first we will look at what is broken cryptography? What are the possible endpoints to look for broken cryptography? What are the account takeovers and various ways to perform account takeover? At the last we will be looking at the real life study of performing account takeover using broken cryptography. So now let's get started. Cryptography is basically a practice to perform secure communication between two parties so that no malicious actor or third party can eavesdrop into their communication and get hold of the sensitive data that is being passed between user A or user B or the two parties or multiple parties involved in the communication. Now there are various kind of encoding and encryption methodologies are available in the market. But there are certain encryption methods or encodings which are not actually treated or considered to be secure. For example, Caesar ciphers. Caesar ciphers are easily possible to be decoded. So, for example, Base64, which are again further can be decoded easily, right? So these kind of methods, if are used in per performing the cryptography or performing secure communication or generating some sensitive data or tokens, they are usually not considered to be secure and safe and can be easily decoded. So broken cryptography again similarly refer to the same thing when there are weak generation algorithms or weak encryption methods are used then we consider them as a broken cryptography or weak cryptography. Now an attacker can ut utilize the broken cryptography to get hold of some sensitive information and sometimes perform some malicious actions as well. Now. These are few endpoints where we can basically go and look for the broken cryptography like session cookies. There are like, uh, so for example, the application uses JWD token as the authentication mechanism. An attacker can simply go and try to see if the uh, JWD token is using some symmetric algorithms or try to have an idea of none algorithm and try to see if it is prone to none algorithm attacks. Further, some applications uses encoded paths and parameters to specifically uh, restrict an attacker to get hold what is being passed at the back end. If the weak cryptography is used, attacker can basically try to encode the data, encode the paths which is being passed and try to perform some sensitive actions or some malicious actions. Uh, sometimes we find hard coded uh, secrets or data in JS files and they are sometimes uh, encoded or encrypted. Uh, you can go and try if they are uh, sometimes base64 encoded, sometimes they are simply MD5 hashes and try to see if you can reverse them or you can decode them. Password reset link is again one of the favorite attack vector where we can uh, try for broken cryptographic attacks and there is a high possibility of finding uh, broken cryptography in password reset links which may allow you to perform account takeovers. CSRF tokens, uh, authenticity tokens, encrypted data, these are again some of the endpoints where you can try for the broken cryptography or weak cryptography and try to see if you can force the new authenticity token or new uh, this CSRF token. There might be multiple endpoints that totally depends upon the application's use case. Now let's quickly understand what are the account takeovers. So for example in an application there is a user attacker and there is a user victim. If a user attacker can get hold of user victim's complete account or complete data and can perform any action as the user victim would be able to do, we call it simply full account takeover. Basically the user attacker now has complete access to user victim's account. There are various methods to perform account takeover like CSRF attacks. If there is an email or password change functionality which is prone to CSRF attacks, you can basically go and try to see if you can perform account takeovers. If there is XSS, you can try to again steal session cookies and perform session hijacking attacks. And further, if uh, there is no password confirmation on password change, you can go and try to perform account takeover. If there is no password confirmation email change, again, you can try to perform account takeovers. Uh, broken cryptography in password reset links is again a, a point where we can perform account takeovers. If the application is prone to IDOR attacks, you can simply uh, change the ID value or email value to the victim user's account and try to perform account takeovers. Similarly, uh, if the application is vulnerable to forceful browsing and say there is a uh, directory called slash admin, right, and the normal user cannot access slash admin directory, but uh, by a forceful browsing or direct request, you can do so and the admin user has access to change any user's password. Basically, we can try to manipulate any user's password and again perform account takeovers. 
so these are some of the basic ways to uh, perform account takeovers there might be multiple ways and depending upon the application and its use cases there might be more attack vectors to perform same thing but these are some of the basic concepts which we can utilize to perform account takeover now let's quickly have a look at the real life study of how to perform account takeover using weak cryptography in password reset link basically let me give you a summary of the attack uh, i started looking for this program after a long time and i had some test account in it so basically i triggered password reset links for two of my uh, test accounts they were hbothra22 plus 1 at the gmail.com hbothra22 plus 2 at the gmail.com now when the password reset email arrived i noticed that in authenticity token only one digit is changed which is plus 1 and plus 2 right so one and two were changed that give me a quick hint that there might be some weak generation algorithm uh, in use so i went ahead and further created more accounts and tried to generate password reset link to observe a pattern further i found that yeah there is a pattern in this particular password generation and it only uh, changes some certain bits if so for example the email is hbothra22 plus 1 and email is hbothra22 plus a so only one and a would be different in the complete token so it totally gave a hint that okay there might be some certain weak cryptographic method in use now the next part was to identify what kind of algorithm is in use and how to exploit it now so to further again uh, exploit and try to generate the algorithm Uh, let's say there is a victim account hbothra22 at the gmail dot com. Reverse the email. Okay, so it will look something like this. Now, further encrypt this reverse email with Caesar cipher, which is plus uh, having key thirteen. It means simply shift each character thirteen places. Okay, so you will get this particular uh, this token, right? now change is at the rate to percent 40 and we have our password reset token so the final token would something look like this okay and based upon this kind of uh, finding uh, like quickly spending like around 15 to 20 minutes i simply detected this particular formula which i used to perform these steps that take a email reverse it and use caesar cipher with key 13 or use road 13 cipher and it will give you your password reset token now since we have password reset token for any email we can basically go and generate password reset links and password reset tokens and perform account takeover on for, for, by like changing password right so this was really a uh, interesting finding and it was really a new for me to uh, find because uh, it is rarely seen that the applications use uh, such ciphers these days as well okay now further there was one more challenge to increase the impact that how you will find out the valid emails so on the forget password page to my luck the application was allowing me to enumerate if the email provided exist or not so that again gave me a chance i again like took some emails and tried to brute force it against the application to see that okay if it can uh, you know find some users email and not i didn't perform further attacks but again i told the organization that yeah we can perform email enumeration valid email enumeration and chain to this particular attack now this is a critical severity issue which was again considered to be a critical issue itself okay so here's a quick tip that whenever you are testing for account takeovers or broken cryptography always use two accounts with aliases so aliases is basically like say your email is hbothra22 @gmail.com so if you add plus 1 okay so h bothra plus h bothra double to plus 1 it will create an alias and this plus 1 email will again come to h bothra double to at the gmail.com itself it helps you to understand that if only a certain bits like say plus 1 or plus 2 are changed and it will allow you to enumerate and figure out that if there is some uh, weak cryptography in use so this was a very basic concept about broken cryptography where to look for broken cryptography what are the possible ways to perform account takeovers and this real life case study we will be posting the more videos about various attacks various security methodologies and a very much cool stuff from red teaming to cloud configuration reviews to mobile network pen testings and stay connected to detox technologies and make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon so that you can stay alerted for the new videos and make sure to drop the comments how you felt about the video if you liked it make sure to share it with your friends and let the knowledge spread thank you so much